Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. When Oregon and Oregon together, the rivalry runs deep. Occasionally, even the bad blood starts to bubble to the surface. The Civil War about to go in the state of Oregon. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. football rivalries. They've been doing battle since 1894 in what's known as the Civil War. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 37. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. The final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. at the 46. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He has some room. And they make the stop at about the 45. Wright's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but he doesn't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. And he's taken down at the 32. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got him the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. Down around the 32 yard line. No game. That makes it second and ten. Throws a strike over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 12. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 14. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Here's the eighth play of the series. They come out on an empty backfield. He fires. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. And for Wright, that's his 25th touchdown pass. I think this speaks to the great bond that this quarterback has with his wide receivers. The receivers know that he'll get him the ball, and he knows that they'll bring it in.
and he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Hamilton has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Tackle made at the 28. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out of the field. And he's leveled at the 22-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on. Him. Second and long. Ball on their own 22. Quick pass. And he's tackled around the 31 yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That makes it 37. quickly to the tight end. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Duck it. The return man. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That makes it second and two. Oregon up seven points. He's at the 40. Tackle made right around the 36-yard line. They knock it down. Incomplete. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Hall takes a handoff. Nice run there as they work the outside. He's scrambling. Tuck it in. He's got space. And down goes around the 24-yard line. Bring him down around the 16-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Check that out. Disco Raider. Disco Raider. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Pitch out, got the corner. He's taken down at the 14-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it fourth and inches. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Oregon is up a score. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff.
Webster from the two. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. As we change ends of the field, I don't think we're going to be seeing much of a change in the outcome. 10-0, Oregon. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. They'll give it off here. Runs right for a nice game. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. Riley is waiting for the snap. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he tackles him hard at the 25. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Now he's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third and long now after the sack. Here we go. I got eight. I got eight. I got eight. You don't want to go one another. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Bright to punt. Brought down at the 50. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. Tackle at the 40-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Throws and it's knocked away. That brings up second and ten. 
brings up third and ten. He's got the tailback on another pitch. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. The Ducks right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate. Fumble! Defense says they've got it, and they do. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away. They are ready to begin another drive. Nice run to the outside. Webster gained seven yards on that play. Oregon State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That's a great tackle at the six-yard line. King gained six yards with a short completion. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And they got it. Here comes the pressure. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Zone, touchdown. How about the tight end? This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he's taken down at the 27. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon holds a field goal lead. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop, the 39-yard line. Impressive game there by the do-it-all back. From their own 39-yard line. First down. Tackled for a long This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Oregon's going to have to use their second time out of the half. He steps out at the 41.
There's a strike complete. And he's taken down around the 42-yard line. Excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down. Bright is the punter. Gets to about the 37-yard line. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. Oregon's got a three-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. You like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackle. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 30-yard line. Brought down around the 32-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. Just a great job here by the defender of timing the hit and getting him down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Tries to get around the corner. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Duckett is back to receive. Gets to about the 44-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. Oregon is up a field goal. Drop away. Taken down in the backfield. Call the loss of three yards on the way. Brings up second and 13. From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's tackled right around the 42 yard line. And a quick throw. He's tackled right around. 
the 40. Scrambling around. And he's level at the 33 yard line. That's a game of seven. That'll make it very long. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Makes it out to about the 23. Inside the 10, the 5, touchdown, Oregon! And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the one. Tackle made at the 29. The Ducks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Throws it to the outside. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. it out. They'll bring him down right around the 30. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Awaits the snap. Duck it. Fields it at the 34. And he's tackled at the 42. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Field. That's good for a game of eight yards. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That makes it second and two. Makes the grab past the marker, and they push him out at the 42 yard line. quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that it's second and 12 ball on the 43 
That's three down and one to go. Oregon's got a 10-point lead.